ungodly places. I should be home filling my belly. Not mucking about on the wrong side of the <laughs> March this winter with help from an unknown quarter. The Picts spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Danes, run! Stop them before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Faster! South of the wall. Don't like it. They got away. Let us regroup at Stenway. We need to plan our next move. Often during winter. The Picts will be on guard. Have a care. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have a reason, something to gain. Best not to draw attention here. Now, to hunt down the pig. Now, to hunt down the pig, chief.
You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat if you like. The Picts are Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That's Dark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. You won't notice one missing cask. So unless there's something wrong with it, let's have a taste. There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. There are no secrets in this world, or the next. The Old Father sees everything. We need not fear Odin's eye, only Hafton's wrath. I must return to Danacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl, he has a fondness for them, and tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walds.
Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned. What news from the north? The pigs were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Father had asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gives me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. 
We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Faravid asked for my silence, but Halfton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts at Markness. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! Well, tell me. I won't know until we meet again, at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. He'll be on top. We're going for a walk down to the temple. Moira about this brew she's been feeding Afton. Letter came from Weekend. She must have gone there. I should go to Weekend. Find Moira. You know how. It might be Boris, Rabbit Wolf. The others won't be so jealous.
Let's go. village, Moira's house. It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. Come on out of there, you heathen lover! Moira, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. Lead on, then. I shall follow. <laughs> Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed, killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back. I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus. E ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. Now, leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it will be the last thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadowsweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. 
He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. <laughs>